night it was dark and raining very hard and that made it difficult for witnesses to get a good description of the truck that hit and killed a man and then took off. Debris and parts of a taillight still litter the shoulder of northbound 15 in Thurmont. Just before 11 Tuesday night, Corporal William Farrell stopped there to help a disabled car. At that time, Corporal Farrell was standing on the driver's side of his vehicle. Another vehicle that we're identifying as a suspect vehicle uh, ran off the right side of the road, struck Corporal Farrell's pickup truck as well as struck Corporal Farrell. Um, and then continued on. Police say that truck stopped about 100 feet past the accident, stayed for up to five minutes, but then took off again. Meanwhile, Corporal Farrell died at the scene. It's just a shame. Uh, it's hard to believe that someone would uh, be that thoughtless. I'm shocked that somebody would end up doing something like that, especially to a good Samaritan that's just going to try to help somebody out. Corporal Farrell, just 21 years old, served in the Marines stationed at Camp David. The Corps issued a statement saying they are heartbroken by the loss. They add, quote, during this difficult time, please know that William was a selfless Marine and his actions reflected his strong and noble character, one that epitomizes a United States Marine, end quote. State police are searching for the driver who hit him and took off. The only information that we have from the witnesses that were there is that it was a dark colored, possible um, heavy duty pickup truck with a dual axle on the back that was carrying a car carrier. The suspect was going to have some damage to the front right side as well as the passenger side. Folks in Thurmont are hoping police catch the driver uh, soon. Give his family some satisfaction that at least the person responsible has been apprehended. Anyone with information should contact the state police barracks here in Frederick. That number is 301 600 4151. Reporting live in Frederick, Kim Day, CWBAL TV 11 News. All right.